Hey everyone, TechnoMinter here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to answer the question, what happens to your iPhone when you reset it? And what does that mean for you? There's different sort of resets when it comes to your iPhone. I'm going to show you all of them and explain to you. So let's get started. Now, in order to reset anything in your iPhone, first thing you're going to want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone. And then from there on, you're going to go to general and then scroll all the way down to transfer or reset iPhone. So if you tap on that, you're going to be able to reset certain things. There's two different types of reset. When you tap on reset right here, right, it gives you a bunch of options here to reset. But essentially what comes down to is if you're resetting settings themselves, these are all the settings you can reset. These settings will not delete your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be still on your phone. It's just the settings. So if you change some settings, maybe your phone isn't working the way it is, or you just want to go back to the factory settings without losing any of your data, you're going to apply one of these settings. So usually reset all settings will cover all of these settings in one. So before you do that one, let's explain these other ones. So resetting the network, it's going to reset things like saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices. Something you do whenever you have any connectivity issues with it. So this is going to be one of the things. This will not delete any of your uh, eSIM as well if you have eSIM. Another one you're going to see is reset keyboard dictionary. This is if you added anything to the keyboard dictionary, any custom uh, words or text, that will just get reset. Reset handwriting style. So if you added any handwriting style to your device, it's going to get reset. Home screen layout. Basically, if you changed up the layout from how it was originally moved around, added widgets and apps, this is what that will reset. And then anything around location privacy settings that you have touched will get reset by this. And then, as I mentioned, resetting all of that setting will cover all of this. So when it comes to usually troubleshooting your phone, you have to just kind of figure out where you're having the issues. Is it network thing, like the connectivity? If it's a keyboard thing, then it will be like the dictionary. If it's a home screen thing, then you would do this one. If it's anything location privacy setting not working, then you would do the last one. But if you aren't sure, you can always do this one. Again, it will not delete any of your data. Now, you might be wondering, how do I reset in a way that it deletes all of your data? That's where this comes in. Reset all content and settings. When you do this reset, it's going to remove all the downloaded apps you had, all of your photos, videos, your even to degree your eSIM, anything. Basically, it will factory reset your iPhone back to the factory default. This is something you do if you're looking to either sell, trade, give away your iPhone and moved your data over. Usually if you do this, you want to back up your phone to the iCloud or already have it transferred over to another device so that everything's already there. And then once you do that, it will just delete everything here on this phone. But keep a, you know, if you have an iCloud backup, we'll keep everything on your iCloud or on another phone here. So that's what's going to happen when you do erase this iPhone, which is basically erase all content and setting. So those are going to be resets that are available on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. See you guys next time.